how did Red Bull get to this point? You would understand that it is something that is coming. And I've said it earlier this season. Red Bull getting to this point and winning some races. It's quite intelligent. They've done a good job. After they've really got off the pace since Miami, they've really done a good job. Max Verstappen has done a good job to put Red Bull where they are presently. And I said it at the beginning of the season that if Red Bull can survive this shape this design of the car that they are having it will be a miracle if they can win the championship and it shows where mercedes have failed and how mercedes have really failed but certainly i think red bull are at the point in which they have not proven me wrong red bull are finding it difficult to interpret the solutions to the car other teams are caught up with them yes it's a bold move going a different way like mercedes did in 2022 taking a different direction 2024 for them but can they maintain it will they be able to sustain it be able to get what Mercedes feel that getting. Mercedes really feel that getting the right floor and the front and the rear suspension to back the W13 and W14A up. That was a failure and that is where Red Bull are present. They, they don't understand what they need to do to make the car faster. Yes, the car is faster. It's not that the car is not faster. To keep a balance on the car and to make the car much more better on every angle. <laughs> the car turning oversteer understeer imbalance everything is just too wrong with that car with the rb20 presently and that has to do with getting the right flow direction in their simulators and in the test they've done on the car they are not getting it right that car keeps giving them the inconsistency that the w13 and w14a were having no mercedes complaining about it that what they were getting in trying to, to make the car better is not translating to race pace which means there's something wrong and these ground effect cars are very very different the way they are built is different so what you might be getting simulator in the cards everything might look different you need to find the right balance the right um, simulation training to make sure the car gives you on the track what you are getting in the simulator which they've not been able to translate and that has affected them seriously that's why they have no style and also Sandra knew would have taken this thing pieces it raw in diagram without taking it to the computer and look at what the problem is and giving them the Solution. But unfortunately, Red Bull had lost Andre Newey to a new team that will be announced in Baku. And we heard he's going to Aston Martin. So he's no more working for Red Bull. He has done his last project. How can they maximize Peter Wasche and other engineers to make sure they give the best? Which certainly this year is already gone. Other teams have caught up. What would they? I'm not sure Red Bull even have the idea. They said they are coming up with us team with flaws that will correct this. But are they sure? Mercedes tried this over and over again, but the car kept, especially the W14A kept on getting worse until they changed the design. They need to find the right balance. If they can't find it, going into next year it will be difficult for Red Bull. And next year might be one of the most difficult races in Red Bull racing history. If they don't get this car right, the RB20, will they go back to RB19 design and continue developing? For me, I think they've reached the peak of design for RB20. They're just trying to do something new to see what they can bring to the table to make the car faster. And there's still no guarantee that whatever they are bringing is going to work. They need to do a lot of training, a lot of simulations in the lab to see how they can get this car faster. But will it really be faster? Well, I can only tell you until they bring those upgrades to the track, there is no way we can be sure it is going to be fast. And Red Bull are dying need of it. If they don't have it, there, there's a problem. And also, one of the things that have really pushed Red Bull to where they are is Red Bull losing Jonathan Whitley. They know he's going in and he's been trying to get things sorted out by himself. Now he has announced it. And and we can see what that translated to in Monza. Their pit strategy was worse. Red Bull, for the past few years, about three, four years, have had best pit strategy. And it's already showing that next year might be worse. Because the way Jonathan Whitley had worked with the team, training, his experience, uh, how would they get back to it? Red Bull are having serious issues, internal struggles, power tussles. For the team to say, to give Elmos Marco a super role to handle after his fallout with Chris Honor, I think it shows that the bold statement they are making because they want the car and stability in the team but there's still no stability a lot of people are leaving and some people will still leave because if i trust an engineer that i'm working with and he's no more working somewhere i want to follow him to where he's working because i know he's good or i want to go somewhere else and build myself because there's no way
way, there will be brain drain. I want to learn from new people. That is what might happen to Red Bull if they are not careful. They need to look at what they need to do. They need to be serious with themselves. If they really need to get that car going, they need to be serious with themselves. They need to tell themselves the truth. Yes, should they forward next year's car or whatever to this year and take the soccer punch in the face and start developing from this year right on track? Or should they continue development on the RB20? For me, I'll tell you, just go into next year car. Forget about bringing the floor for next year and this and that to make the car. Just move into next year car. Start developing the car and start learning from now because whichever curve they land this year, that is where they're going to start next year. And it might be disastrous for them if they have no gaining in learning this year. It should be a big show of shame because as it is going, if McLaren can improve their pit strategy and their driving experience and Ferrari also can improve, Mercedes can bring something great to the table. Red Bull will struggle for the rest of the season and next season, the struggling, it might be difficult entering a new season with that kind of struggles. If you look at their races, especially in race pace, they've lost race pace. To Mercedes in Monza, it was a disaster. Their, their race pace to Lewis Hamilton in Dutch Grand Prix was a disaster. And I think now their eyes should be open, their mind should be open. And Chris Ona should be able to raise his hand up and blame himself for a lot of things that have gone wrong. And should be able to come out and do something. For me, I've said it, the best thing he can do is to leave the team so that we know the team is struggling to get back by 2026. They can get by 2025, they get a new team principal. 2026, they're coming back into fighting. So everybody can know, oh, they lost their team principal. That's why they went down. That's why this happened. Because his influence with all the scandals, they still speak. And I think it's going to be a show of shame for them if they come out next year still struggling, not being in a competitive state. So Red Bull needs to get themselves up. They've nose dived downward, really, really downward. And that is going to affect their championship pursuit, both the drivers and constructors' championship. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Thank you.